you're all doing well on this Memorial Holiday Weekend. Oh gosh, I'm so happy for this weekend. I so need this extra day off from work. Um, and it's the official kick off for the summer. So my favorite time of the year. I am back with you all. I know you see here my Duny and Burke um, satchel. Um, this is not the um, video that I had promised um, a few days ago. But I will be back with the coach. Um, long story short, um, when I began to prepare to film the uh, coach video, I noticed there was a major um, defect on the bag. So I had to go all the way back to coach to take it back. So, but coach is always wonderful to me. Um, I was able to get it exchanged without any issues. So that's why um, you don't have. Um, I don't have that video up for you yet because it hasn't been filmed, but the bag is over here, um, down here, uh, waiting to be filmed. So that will be coming up next. But in the meantime, I was actually waiting for this weekend so that I can use this beauty right here. Um, I didn't want a tote. I wanted something smaller, lightweight, but yet it's big enough to hold everything that I would want to carry. And I knew this was going to be the bag. So, without further delay, oh, you know what? Before I get to that, I also wanted to share with you guys. In April, I started a, a new position and um, required a lot, a lot of tra training. Um, I had 15 days of training remotely. And then for one week after that, I did have to go into New York City into the office for um, additional um, account training. They had one of the guys from LA come in to uh, uh, train us on that. So a lot, a lot of training, but that's all behind me now. But for that one week, I actually had to carry a work bag, which I've never had to done, never had to done, never had to do before because primarily, um, I wanna say for a lot of years, even before it became most common thing to do. I've always worked um, from home for the most part because I've never had to uh, really cut, um, commute or to carry a work bag until three weeks ago, I think that was, when I was in the office. Anyway, let me tell you, the bag that I chose, I, I the first day I took my nylon um, east-west shopper. It was a charm, but it was a little bit too small. So I went with I said it might be heavy but I'm gonna try it and granted it was heavy but the sizing on it was perfect 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 and what am I speaking about my um, Dooney and Burke um, Florentine um, Russell tote oh my goodness it worked like a charm again granted it was heavy but I, I dealt with it because it carried everything in it that I needed. And let me go ahead and share that because I was so impressed I recorded some footage. There are my sunglasses. That's one of two notebooks. Down there at the bottom was my face mask, my Florentine wallet, my Florentine kiss lock that I used as a tech pouch, my carry-all. That is a pamphlet from work with contracts in it. Then that it, there is my second notebook and then my laptop and then um, my Lysol wipes and also my wet ones and what you didn't see on the side were my keys. So yeah y'all as you can see that Dunienberg um, medium Russell I will always gravitate towards that bag. Hopefully I will have to do do it again um, go into the city for work because part of my negotiation when I took this position is to work, is to work remotely because me and the New York City every morning catching trains all that stuff mm -mm, that is not for me so hopefully um, I should not have to be going back into the city unless maybe on a special occasion or maybe when a client comes in but other than that uh -uh, I won't be needing to work back but if I should if I do medium Russell that's my bag to this duty right here. Again, I was waiting for this weekend to kick off the summer with this bag. It's 
pretty. It's a small medium. So again, I can carry everything in it. Um, by it being white, um, I can dress it up with any color. I can, in fact, change it up every day if I wanted to, uh, depending on what I was wearing because the bag is white. I have a few ideas of what I want to carry in it this weekend. So let me go ahead and add that and I'll be back. Okay, so I've packed my beautiful satchel. It's all ready and set for the weekend. Let me first share with you some of the things I considered using for my catch-all. I had considered carrying this. And this is something, a little pouch that I found at, I think, Burlington. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was Burlington. And I actually purchased this um, while waiting for this to arrive and didn't realize it, it's a little too big to carry in there, but I loved it. Um, I loved the, the print on it, so I decided to keep it because it's going to go with so many other things and it's the same print front and back. So this was the first thing that I considered um, for my catch-all. And then as far as bag jewelry, um, I have my one of my little favorite pom-poms here. And um, I decided, nah, I like that better. So I didn't use this. Now, when I got this, this term here, it was the night um, I went into the city uh, for dinner and we went to Rockefeller Center. And we were just out browsing and me and the girls and we stopped in this little store. It was like a little grocery slash drugstore slash little convenience store. But in the back, they had a little turnstile that I, that had a bunch of little purse charms and I was just blown away. So I got that one and then I picked up a couple of others. Um, I got this one. Um, this is in my favorite color. It's a dark deep uh, purple. So I got that. And then I also saw, and they had multiple colors in this, um, little cherries. Look at that, little cherries. And I've always wanted um, a um, cherry handbag charm. And I saw it there and I was just completely blown away. And y'all, these were only six bucks. Each one, yeah, $5.99. $5.99 for each of these. And I had to practice self-control because I could have picked up a whole ton and been out of 50 bucks. But I, I went with just these three and i absolutely love them by them being only five bucks are they gonna last i don't know but for me for that price it was worth just trying them out so i picked up these little purse charms and the very first one that i'm using is this beautiful this beautiful one here so let me go ahead and get closer into that bag so that you can see what i decided to carry in it for the week Okay, so here's a closer look. Y'all, look at that beautiful charm. It just, oh gosh, I love it. It gives this bag the perfect, perfect little pop. Little heart there. Um, again, it was only six bucks, so I don't know how long it will last. But however long it lasts, I will get my six bucks worth out of it. And um, so this is my bag. Let me give you a top view. And... Uh, this is what it's looking like on the inside of it. And let's start pulling stuff out. So the first thing that I have that I always have in my handbags, these are my sunglasses. And I almost purchased another pair last night because there is one pair that I absolutely love. And they're at a particular mall they're really they're they're about 30 bucks um they're a good replacement for designer glasses i had a pair last summer but one flick of the hand and i broke them so i started to get another pair last night when i went to um exchange my coach bag but i just didn't feel like walking all the way back to the other end of the mall just to get them so um these are my sunglasses <laughs> that was a long way around of saying these are my sunglasses that I have in there. I had those tucked in on the side right here. And then I also have my blue light blockers. 
And then, um, I have my keys. And I also have, let me pack this up some so you guys can see when I do it this way. You can see inside. So, um, uh, what was the last thing I took out? My keys. So in addition to that, for my little tech pouch, I decided to go with one of my little mess, mess, mesh pouches that I got from wherever. I don't even remember where I got these from, but they came in like a pack of four or five. And this one is um, the blue, bluish hint with the lime green trimming. And as you can see, I have my tech stuff in there. I also have, now for my catch-all, I decided to go with one of my Ruby and Cash um, uh, pouches that I got a couple of months ago. And um, it's just plain, simple white. Um, and yeah, I wasn't sure whether or not I was gonna keep it when I got it, um, but what the heck, it's white, so I decided it won't hurt. And in here, I have all of my usual things that I always have. I have um, my lip glosses. There should be one more. Um, what's the other one? I wanted to show you. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I have my lip glosses and these two here, these are matte uh, lip glosses and I got them at a, um, a, what do you call it, a beauty supply house. Y'all hold on one second, I'll be right back. Yo, I'm sorry about that. Um, okay, where did I leave off? These two uh, matte lip glosses, I got these at a beauty supply house. They were, uh, I still got the price tag, $2.99, three bucks, three bucks each, but I absolutely love these glosses. What I do, I mix them together. Um, I outline of my lips, of course, with my lip liner, and then on the um, next to that, I'll put the dark shade, and then in the middle, I'll put the light lighter pink, to um, create that ombre effect on my lips. And these two colors work perfectly for me with my skin tone when I do that. And let's see. And then everything else is just my usual things that I always share with you. Um, my Lysol spray. Um, again, stuff you've all seen a hundred times, so I'm not gonna go through all of that. But this is, what I decided to use for my catch-all for this weekend. Let's see, the next thing that I have, and I didn't, because of its size, like I said, it's perfect. It allows me to carry everything in it that I normally would, but it's not big. So what I decided to use for my wallet is my one of my little favorite wallets. And I got this, I think, two summers ago. And this is a Calvin Klein zip around wallet. It reminded me of the um, Coach um, Pride collection when they had it in white. And I wanted that wallet so bad. In fact, I didn't even know about that collection until it was way too late and I couldn't get any of the pieces. And this reminded me of that. And I absolutely love it. It's a great alternative. So I decided to use this with it and I have all of my stuff in there. Y'all, when I'm switching out, y'all know I never have money, right? I have two paper bills and I've had these two paper bills in my wallet for about three weeks and the whole time I thought there were two singles. <laughs> it's a single and a 20. All this time, I didn't know I had a $20 bill in my wallet. That's how bad I am with cash. Whenever I go to purchase something out of habit, I just always reach for my debit card. But anyway, 
that's me and my little hangups. But um, yeah, so that, I have all of my change in here. And I have quite a bit this time. So all of my change is in here. And then my health insurance card on this side. And then I have me and mommy's cards on the opposite side. So yeah, I I love the way this looks together. I think that's beautiful. And what else do I have in here? The only other item that I have in the back pocket, I have um, my wet ones. And then I also have, wait, I feel another something else in there. Uh, my Lysol wipes. Oh, I am loving these Lysol wipes. Uh, just, I, I use them every single time I go out. And then what's this other thing? Um, I just put in here. Oh, oh, oh. Yo. When I say everybody is struggling, still, even to this day, everyone is struggling. Look what I got. I have another business card from someone at my local Lexus dealer where I got my vehicle from. Now granted, my my car, I only have, in fact, I just hit 18,000 miles. It's a 2019. They know this, but yet they are still, they reached out to me, um, not this week and the weekend before, and I didn't even get the message until a, a week later. And I'm like, my car is still new. They don't care. I guess, again, times are still kind of tough for everyone and they're doing everything they can to get people into new cars, to get, you know, to sell new cars. So I said to him, like, look, you call me, I will entertain the idea but don't expect any money down from me. And most important, don't expect for me to be paying higher monthly payments. That's just not gonna happen. Um, if you want me in a new car, it's gonna be on my terms. And he did not disagree, so I went. Um, but what they had in stock, um, I didn't like any of the vehicles. So. Um, I told him to call me, you know, keep me in mind, call me back when they have more stuff. So we'll see how that goes, but they're trying to, to everyone's doing everything they can to, to get business back. And the only reason why I actually went is because I was speaking to another friend of mine. Same thing happened to him and he actually got a new car. He was like, no, 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 they're not joking around. Um, if you go, they will do everything in their power to get you in a new car. That's how desperately they need to sell these cars. So, and he went and yeah, and he had only had his car, I think two years and he's in a brand new one. So yeah, times are tough, man, tough, tough, tough. I mean, we are rebounding, but it's a slow process. So we shall see, who knows, maybe in a month or so, I might have a new car, I don't know. Even though the one that I have is basically still brand new because like I said, last Saturday is when I hit 18,000 miles. But we shall see. But let me go ahead and put all this stuff back so that I can end this video. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have repacked my beautiful bag. It is all ready for the weekend. And y'all looks like the uh, film has gotten a little bit darker. I apologize for that. The weather today has been a little, uh, um, it started off really cloudy and then at about 11, I want to say 11.30, 12 o'clock, we got hit with a storm. So everything that I had planned to do this afternoon, I wanted to go to the park, get a walk in, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But mother nature was, was like, you need to take a break. So just sit down, chill, and relax. So I found a really, really good movie um, that, that I am now gonna have to roll back on BET Her. Um, I forgot to make money, but it's really good. So I'm gonna roll that back and finish watch, watching, watching, watching that. And then who knows, maybe early evening, the sun will come out and then I'll get 
to go out and take mommy out for a little bit just to get some fresh air. And when I do, I'm gonna take my beautiful little bag here with me. And yeah, this is it. So I know I am fully going to enjoy my beautiful bag here. And once again, this is my Dooney and Burke satchel. Simple, short, sweet name, satchel. And it's in pebble grain leather, trimmed in the beautiful brown uh, leather trim, gold plate in the front. And again, I've added my little New York uh, cheapy bag charm on there that looks like a million bucks in my opinion. And this is the side. Very structured, which I love about it. And feet on the bottom. And yeah, this is gonna be my bag for the weekend. And I am so looking forward to it. So with that, everyone, this is everything that I have. And again, I miss you guys so, so very much. And I so appreciate a few of you have reached out to me personally just to say hello. I am so happy about that. And truly, y'all, with the new position that I have, it is quite demanding. And it's still, basically because it, there is so much to learn with new accounts, etc., etc. And um, I, I just been working and taking care of mom, and that's that's all I've had time for uh, lately. Uh, every now and then, um, I, I am able to catch up on some videos. I watched a few last night. Great, great content. I even miss doing that, just vegging out, watching my favorite content creators. I miss doing that. Again, I will be back soon because I'm gonna share with you um, what I got um, from the coach outlet um, this week. So I'll be back with that. But in the meantime, everyone, please, 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 Enjoy your weekend, your holiday weekend, but please make it a safe one. So with that, everyone, until next time, bye-bye.